This is a Detroit locker, had of the front of a Dana 30. All it has is six bolts, which are uh, one quarter UNC socket head cap screws holding that plate together. There's room to even put 18 in here, easily two there, and even make them bigger to 5 sixteenths or 8 mil. To expect these bolts to hold that together is ridiculous. I, I would bet money that in this, in, in this diff's lifetime that these bolts are going to snap off or come loose. They're already loose when we first unpacked it from the box. We're able to put the Allen key in there and just undo them by our hands without even holding this in the vise. They'd had Loctite on them, but the holes might have had oil in them. I've washed them out with petrol and blown them out. But there's miles of room in between there. You can put at least another six or even two more. It's only going to cost an extra a few dollars to put three times the amount of bolts there and you'll have no trouble whatsoever for this American company Deet, who made by uh, Eaton in America that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in a, in a carrier design little tiny stinking bolts holding that carrier together which is trying to go like this there's a look it's do, all, every time it's rotating, it's going, it's trying to do this, get away from one another because of the side thrust and the radial load of this pinion uh, on the crown wheel. So it's, it's, it's doing this all the time. These bolts are prone to failure. Could cost someone their lives. They cause a head-on collision, anything. When that all malfunctions and blows the pieces when you're doing about a hundred, 100 k's an hour or 60 or 70 miles an hour just locks the whole front end of your car up you go over off the side of a mountain or head on into a big semi trailer or another car they're, they're crazy that will end up in a court case this um, failure of these bolts i'd like to hear from anyone that's ever experienced those bolts failing one eighth um one quarter <laughs> You wouldn't see bolts holding that carrier together. Look at the look at the size of the tyres on this car. It's a four five six ratio. These tyres are all trying to tear that carrier apart. Alright. Put that on YouTube.